Welcome to English Without Borders Thursday webinar series. We are very happy to resume our Thursday webinar. And today we are ha very happy to host Mauluza Zulkova, who will talk about English, uh, to talk about how to use Padlet in the classroom. Uh, Mauluza Zulkova graduated from Horok State University with a diploma in English and German languages. She has 19 years of working experience in teaching English at Horok State University and School of Professional and Continuing Education of the University of Central Asia. Mauluda is a recipient of different national and international awards and, awards and certificates. In 2010, she became a finalist of the U.S. Exchange Program Junior Faculty Development Program and spent one semester study at the University of Kentucky and earned a certificate in linguistics. Um, Mauluda shares a uh, certificate on teaching knowledge test, Cambridge English, and recently completed two international certificate courses on CELTA, certificate in teaching English to other speakers, Cambridge English, and media literacy, a course supported by the Regional English Language, uh, uh, Regional English Language Office of the US Embassy in Kazakhstan. Recently, Mavluda joined English Without Borders team as a regional representative for GBAO, and she finished teaching a one month online course on digital skills for English teachers in Tajikistan. Welcome, Mavluda. We are very happy to see you. And uh, dear participants, please use this opportunity to write down your questions to our speaker in the chat box. And uh, we also encourage other participants who are watching us on Facebook to put their questions in the comment box. So after her presentation, we'll pass all these questions to Mavluda. Mavluda, welcome again. And now the floor is yours. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Nasiba. And uh, hello, everybody. I hope uh, everyone is doing very well today. Uh, okay, let me just share my presentation with you. Okay, can you see the screen? Okay, I think uh, we can see, uh, we can start actually. Um, today I'm going to mainly uh, talk about one of the online platform, which is called Padlet. But uh, before I start talking about the Padlet, I just want to present you my outline. And uh, uh, first of all, I'm going to um, uh, send, uh, I'm going to uh, use uh, some questions on poll. You have to answer the questions before I start my session. Uh, then I'm going to give you some general information about Padlet. And next, uh, I will show you some examples of Padlet uh, used in the classroom, which I used in my own classroom. And also, I just uh, talk to other uh, instructors and who share their uh, experience with me. So I'm going to present it to you today. And finally, uh, I'm going to, together, we are going to uh, create a discussion on Padlet. And uh, we will just uh, practice and see how does it work, OK? So uh, let's now start with the poll, yeah? I would like you to, okay, in a, in a minute, I think you're going to see the questions uh, and you have to answer the questions. So please, uh, there are only three questions. Okay, look at the questions and answer the questions. Okay, um, good, good. 
50%. This was the third question. Yep. Uh, okay, very, very good. As I see, uh, the first question is here, do you use any online tools to plan your lessons? And um, uh, actually, it's uh, uh, great uh, that 100% uh, of the audience is using uh, uh, different online tools uh, to plan uh, their lessons. And I think in uh, nowadays uh, uh, world, uh, this is actually very, very important, especially for school children who are very digitalized and they have been using, uh, they are more interested in technology and while we uh, incorporate technology in our classes, it makes our lessons very, very interesting and interactive. And the second question we have here, what online teaching tools are you familiar with? Choose all the options that apply. Okay, uh, so we have 80% of the audience can go to the Zoom. Very, very good. Um, uh, Microsoft Teams, 67%. Uh, Google Classroom is the same number, it's the same percentage. And uh, Padlet, 50% of the audience can use it. And uh, with Kahoot, also 50% of the audience can work. It's actually a great result because before uh, the lockdown, we even didn't um, imagine these kind of results. And we, uh, I personally, for example, was not aware about this uh, online platform. But uh, now, uh, because of the online sessions and thanks to the programs and projects like EWB, which gives an opportunity uh, to the teachers to use uh, uh, the online platforms and uh, just be aware of it. Uh, and they just conduct sessions and makes us aware uh, of these uh, new uh, platforms. And the third question is here, how would you rate your proficiency in technology? 50% um, of the audience says uh, it's excellent, very, very good. And I'm really happy about it. And again, the other 50% says it's average. It's uh, really, really good because every time when we just uh, um, piece of the sessions and uh, uh, we become uh, more aware about different platforms. And uh, this is a really great result. Yeah, I'm so happy that today's, uh, uh, today's uh, uh, actually, all, today's audience is uh, uh, really aware of the using the technology in their classes. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, let's uh, now uh, let me just uh, talk a little bit uh, about uh, Padlet. I just want to give some general information about it. Uh, Padlet uh, is a free uh, online uh, um, tool uh, which is best described as an online notice board. And both uh, teachers and students, uh, they use uh, Padlet uh, to send their uh, messages on board. Uh, they share, uh, share their um, uh, classes and uh, activities. And uh, the, uh, they the messages and the notes that are sent on board, they contain uh, links, uh, audios, images, videos, and uh, of course, there are also different uh, uh, files that we want to share with our students. Uh, okay, the only, if you want just to use Padlet in your classes, uh, the only thing you just need to do is just go to padlet.com and register for it. Uh, and after that, you can create a wall and uh, you will have your own board. And uh, you can, of course, set some important function there and to use it really in your classes. Uh, I think uh, it's really very easy to use Padlet, and uh, it, I think it doesn't need any software to install on your computers, or it doesn't need uh, or doesn't ask us, for example, to upload any uh, application uh, in order to use it. Uh, it is a neutral uh, digital uh, that can be used on any. Uh, um, uh, we can use it any times if you have, for example, uh, um, the internet enabled device uh, that can in include, for example, your personal computer, your laptop, tablet, uh, or on smartphones. So if you have just internet connection, you can really use it in your classes uh, with your students. 
Uh, I think uh, that's uh, actually general information that I just wanted to tell you about Padlet. And uh, now I have uh, on my screen, I have four main skills uh, that uh, you can acquire or use while you will have just uh, uh, while using Padlet. And the first one is uh, uh, managing information and uh, uh, thinking. I think this uh, skill actually uh, require, it is the main element here is curiosity. Uh, students are going to look for new and different ways of answering questions and uh, solving problems. They will gather information, they will record it, uh, they will analyze the information, reflect on it, and then share with other people. And by this way, I think uh, they can also uh, develop their uh, critical thinking as well. Uh, the second uh, skill that I just wanted to uh, uh, I use here is communicating. Uh, of course, by communicating, I mean using the language and uh, we can uh, send post um, our uh, information on Padlet, we edit the language, we try to improve uh, the quality of our work and then uh, again improve it and uh, send it again back uh, on Padlet. Uh, the third uh, skill uh, that uh, I want to tell you about is uh, working with others. Uh, I think by uh, working with others, uh, we can just, um, students, they share information, they collaborate with each other. Uh, it, it can develop such uh, skills like uh, relationship and resolving uh, conflicts. Uh, they will um, also uh, learn, uh, okay, uh, learn with other students. And, this also develops such as skills like uh, team building, uh, leadership, uh, and uh, that may have a positive effect on our students. And the last activity that I included here is uh, being creative. I think by being creative, uh, uh, the main element here is uh, using your imagination and uh, students are using different uh, uh, ways of learning uh, that will help them to develop their imagination. They will uh, explore options, different options and alternatives, and they are going to do their best uh, to use their creativity. And uh, I think by looking at other people's work on, uh, on the Padlet board, they will be very inspired and they will try to do their best in order to, uh, in order to present their work to other students and by this way i think uh, these kind of uh, opportunities when they have they will just help each other uh, to develop um, uh, a lot of skills i think uh, this is mainly uh, about uh, some skills that we uh, acquire let's now um, uh, just uh, uh, look at some examples on how to use uh, padlet in our own classes on this uh, Okay, on this uh, uh, Padlet board uh, uh, that I created, I use it as my digital portfolio. And uh, I have here the four presentations that I have conducted with EWB. And now I keep it as my portfolio. And I think next time when I want to use it with other groups and uh, the, if I want to make uh, other presentation, I, I can easily access it and um, uh, that will be easy for me to work and keep it and not to look for it. I think the same kind of things you can do for yourself and uh, another uh, options that you can do with the uh, um, digital portfolio can create the same for every individual students in your group. And uh, once you will create for every individual students uh, this kind of portfolio, they can upload their, their work presentations, their projects, uh, their writings. And uh, as a teacher, of course, you have to, um, from time to time, visit their uh, uh, Padlet board and um, just give them comments and uh, uh, assess it and uh, just give them feedback. Uh, okay, the next uh, example that uh, I just want to share with you is uh, I think this is actually one of the most uh, widely used uh, by teachers, brainstorming. 
you can use Padlet as a, uh, you can use a Padlet as a, uh, for example, brainstorming any topics uh, for writing or while you are going to do any projects. Uh, you can do the same with projects and students can brainstorm and uh, of course, you can together then look at all the options and choose uh, the one that uh, most of the groups will agree on. Uh, <clears throat> next is, uh, this is uh, an example that I want to just tell you about. I use it in my own classroom. At the end of each unit, I usually ask my students to do some, kind of, some writing in class and uh, this time I ask them um, to uh, give a description of their best friend. Uh, okay, uh, and then I told them that uh, uh, a foreigner is, uh, imagine that a foreigner uh, has written to you a letter and then uh, he just uh, asks you about your best friend because uh, that person is going to be his roommate. So you have to be honest and tell them uh, everything that you want to share with, uh, because the person wants to know more information about your friend. And uh, they uh, uploaded their friend's uh, photos on Padlet and they were actually uh, very happy when I, uh, you, when I uh, talked uh, to my students uh, about Padlet. Uh, they, in the beginning, didn't know uh, this platform, and uh, I just uh, made a presentation for them. I then created a group on WhatsApp and asked them to collaborate. And then uh, they uh, actually uh, uh, were happy, and uh, I think, as you see, they did it successfully. I think you can create the same for writing classes or your groups. In the next uh, slide, uh, this is actually... Uh, a platform that uh, I, um, a board that I created for my academic achievement program students uh, where they uh, uploaded their projects. And I think you can also do the same uh, for your students. And uh, uh, while looking at each other's work, I think they will be very, very motivated to do their best and to, to use uh, different, opportun different um, opportunities uh, Okay, to present it to the class. And uh, let me now just uh, share with you uh, the project that uh, one of the students uh, uploaded on Padlet. Uh, one minute. Let me just... Okay, let me share. Okay. Today when we go in the cities, we see rubbish, and a lot of rubbish. Um, we see rubbish in the center of the streets, we see rubbish in every park, we see rubbish in, you know, in markets and everywhere. And this is a very big problem. And year after year, more and more rubbish is produced. Um, I mean, only in the US, about 139 million tons of rubbish is produced, and around the world, it's about 2.01 billion um, tons of uh, rubbish. And this statistics will, these numbers will increase until it will be a very big problem. Only today, the problems caused by rubbish are soil contamination, water contamination, um, air contamination, and in some way, even human damage. Um, soil is contaminated in landfills where this rubbish ends up in and also water because a lot of people just throw the rubbish in the waters and it's a very um, it's just it destroyed the marine life and the marine ecosystem and it needs something to be done with so what should be done with it just do start with yourself every day go from home to school or from school to home or anywhere else, just look around you, and if you see some rubbish, just pick it up and put it in a trash bin. And you may think, what effect will it cause? Um, but the effect will be very big. People will see you doing this, and they will also do this. And then other people will see them, and they will also do this. And this will continue until your city will be freed from rubbish for about 
Okay, this is a, a sh one of the projects that the academic achievement uh, program students uh, completed at SBC, and I want I just share it with you. I think you can do the same with your groups and with your uh, in your school. Uh, next, uh, I think uh, it's not only video, but you can also upload some audio on uh, your Padlet, and students can easily do that. You can, or a teacher can, uh, for example, um, give some uh, listening activities that they, they will not complete it in class uh, to do that at home, and uh, that will be also possible. And uh, I'm going to, again, to share with you one more listening that the students uh, uploaded on a uh, the Padlet, uh, let's just have a look how did the, the students interviewed each other. And I think uh, this will give you maybe an idea to do the same things in your class. Good morning, Paimona. Good morning, Paimona, and I have some questions to you. What are advantages and disadvantages of medical tourism, uh, in your opinion? Um, in my opinion, the advantages are uh, that you can travel to another country, you can see another country, and what is the most important, um, that your health care in other places um, is better. And uh, the disadvantages are that in public, um, in, for example, in Thailand and India, in the public uh, hospitals, uh, there are uh, a shortage of doctors and people. And why the doctors leave the public uh, hospitals? The doctors leave public hospitals and they go to the private hospitals because um, the, um, the month payment uh, in these private hospitals is more and also there are less people and the doctors are specialists in only one, uh, in only one thing. For example, only at a surgery. And the second question is, uh, what are the biggest medical tourism hospitals and where they are located? Um, I know only one biggest uh, tourism hospital. Um, it is located in Thailand. Um, its name is Sirange uh, and it is public hospital. And the third question, how do you understand uh, the word consolidation? Consolidation is uh, when two hospitals um, come together and um, they share their knowledge, their equipment and um, become successful together. I think uh, uh, that's it and to save time, uh, we can just go on. I think uh, it is a really good idea to do the same things in your classes and I believe students will be very, very motivated to do this kind of activities uh, as they are, they love working with technology. Uh, okay, let me now just uh, share with you one more example. You can uh, you can also discuss a book for, on tablet with your class. I actually um, going to do it uh, uh, after unit two with my students. Uh, at the end of each unit, um, I uh, assign my group uh, to with my intermediate level students uh, to read books. Uh, I usually uh, copy uh, the same books for all 15 students in my class. Uh, they will they read the same book, and uh, then uh, then uh, I uh, I usually do some kind of activities with them uh, on Padlet. Uh, I think we can do something like, for example, discuss characters, themes, people, uh, to talk about some hidden meaning and uh, or invent a sequel. I, I was also thought about uh, maybe asking them to, to write a letter to the author who wrote this book, or you can just ask them to, um, to tell, uh, just to discuss who is their uh, favorite hero of that book and uh, what kind of questions uh, uh, this, uh, they will ask their favorite hero uh, or, or what are they going to talk about. If we uh, okay, I think uh, this, uh, uh, if we create this kind of activities for our students, I think uh, uh, they will be very, very motivated uh, to do that on Padlet. And uh, they will understand it, I think, uh, better the story. Another activity uh, I think that we can do for our speaking class, mm, uh, at the end, uh, in the beginning of the lesson, I usually spend about five minutes 
with the students uh, to tell some interesting news uh, to share with the group. Uh, I usually uh, assign, uh, uh, tell students to uh, do it every lesson, one person every lesson. And uh, you can, the person will, uh, uh, can do uh, or upload the article or the news uh, before the lesson on Padlet. And uh, you can open it in, uh, open it in class and then uh, it is, you can put students in groups or pairs or you can do it in open class and they will, will discuss uh, the news together. Um, uh, next is the exit ticket. Uh, I think that is also a, a very interesting uh, activity to do on Padlet. A lot of students uh, usually uh, feel shy uh, when you explain the lesson and tell them to ask you questions. Uh, they feel shy and they will not ask you questions, but uh, you can uh, leave maybe about 10 minutes or five minutes at the end of your lesson to uh, tell them to post their questions on Padlet anonymously. And uh, when they do it anonymously, of course, they will be, um, um, they will ask uh, the questions uh, that they didn't understand. And I think uh, these three questions will be for you as an example uh, to ask uh, them, but of course you can create uh, some other questions, your own questions to ask your students. For example, what did you learn today? What didn't you understand? And what questions do you have? Uh, by uh, asking students uh, these types of questions, uh, we will just evaluate uh, the, uh, how successful our lessons and uh, how, uh, what things uh, we need to plan for the next lesson and uh, just uh, to see, uh, uh, to make the process of learning uh, meaningful and I think to give students more freedom. And uh, on next uh, thing that uh, as the we teacher can do is gather teacher feedback. Uh, I think um, in nowadays uh, modern world, uh, this will be very, very important for us teachers uh, to know uh, uh, our students' opinion about our teaching. Uh, we can uh, create, uh, again, Padlet for our students and ask them to um, uh, give us feedback. Uh, uh, of course, again, they have to do that anonymously and uh, we can see how successful the method is the methodology that we have been using and uh, what do we mean, okay, and by looking at their uh, feedbacks, again, we can just make some changes or make a lot of changes in our teaching. And by this way, I think we can make the process of learning meaningful and help our students uh, to uh, learn more and to motivate them uh, to, to motivate them and to help them uh, understand the topics better. And one more thing uh, that uh, we uh, teachers also uh, can do uh, is uh, to create a discussion uh, on uh, Padlet. Uh, we will uh, send a debate, uh, a debate uh, question. Uh, you can choose any debatable question and post it on Padlet and uh, ask students uh, to uh, look at the question and uh, uh, discuss it. Uh, and I think um, by this way, uh, students will practice the language. Uh, they will practice their uh, critical and uh, analytical uh, themes. And uh, of course, they will learn a lot of things uh, and improve their writing. And uh, this will be very, very helpful uh, from time to time just to create this kind of discussion. As uh, for me today, uh, I also uh, wanted you uh, to do a discussion on uh, Padlet. Uh, that's why before uh, we go, uh, we, we will do the discussion with you on Padlet. Let me just uh, show you the uh, board and explain a little bit uh, how to, uh, of course, uh, I know a lot of you have already have uh, um, um, know how to work on Padlet, but there may be some other people who still need to know how to post uh, their uh, questions or comments on Padlet. And let me just uh, share with you, uh, let me just share with you the link. Oh, oh, sorry, let me just uh, first show you.
okay, here is the okay, Padlet board that I created for today's discussion. Uh, the question is here, is the use of tech changing people for the better or worse? Uh, you can read the question and here you have the, you have your add comment. You can click on add comment and just start writing. I think, yeah, for example, I think, and you can just uh, write your opinion. Or we have here uh, in the corner, you have a, a symbol plus, you can click on that symbol and start writing. And then you can just uh, post it, yeah, by, uh, okay, it will be, uh, okay, it will be there, yeah. You can just click on the arrow and then um, start writing and uh, put in, uh, adding comments, yeah, to whatever people write. Uh, or you just need to click on plus and start writing. Uh, let me just uh, share the link with you. Uh, I will put it in the uh, chat box. Please uh, click on the link uh, and uh, start discussing the question and giving comments to other people. Okay. Can you see the uh, Can you see the link? I think it's there.
Um, I think uh, um, that's it, and I see that uh, a lot of people have uh, shared their opinions on uh, the Padlet board, and uh, this, uh, that would be uh, also an idea maybe for you uh, to use in your classes and to create the same this kind of discussion with your students. This was just one example, but of course uh, you may have your own ideas, you may have your own creativity and add some varieties to it. Uh, that is actually what uh, I have planned for today and uh, wanted to share with you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much. Mamluda, um, we have received so many feedback in the chat box. You can read them. Yeah, now people are discovering, you know, more ways how to use Padlet in their classroom. So, yeah, thank you very much. And now we uh, welcome just any questions from the audience. The participants, please um, write your questions in the chat box and we'll pass them to uh, Mamluda. Uh, so, Mavlid, I have a question. <laughs> so, uh, is it possible to use Padlet for making tests? Like, you know, if you want to uh, to check your students' knowledge, or maybe for making quizzes. I think um, if you use a Padlet for tests, see yeah, actually students, because all of the students have access to the same uh, Padlet uh, board, and uh, they are going to, they are going to cheat and. Uh, uh, they're going to, again to check uh, if you just send it on Padlet. I believe they will uh, go to go again to internet and uh, try to uh, use the answers from internet. And I think for that kind of things, uh, you can use uh, some other platforms. Uh, but here it's mainly, uh, I believe, for discussions, for project works, for other activities. But um, I didn't use it for tests. Mm -hmm. I use Kahoot. Uh, Mm -hmm. Last the test, uh, the student or something, but uh, I didn't use it. Uh, as for me, I don't use it for uh, for tests. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, we we are receiving lots of, um, yeah, lots of. Thank you to you <laughs> for a nice presentation. Okay, uh, another question. Do you ask your students to make comments on each other works, like when using Padlet? Yeah, if it's a discussion, of course, I will ask them to make comments uh, on each other's uh, work. Uh, and I, uh, of course, uh, before uh, I, they, they, I tell them to do comments, I ask them to be polite uh, with each other and not to uh, just hurt each other feelings. Uh, and I think uh, till nowadays in my experience, actually, I didn't have uh, this kind of things, but students are very polite and helpful with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, dear participants, yeah, please be informed that, you know, right after each webinar, we usually do share all the webinar materials on our website and very soon we will post them. So the next question, is it a good idea to use Padlet for reading? Yeah, and sorry, one more thing that I want to add to the first question. There is also one, uh, uh, one icon there where you can just turn it on or turn it off. If you want your students to comment on each other's work, you can turn this icon on. But if you don't want them to comment on other people's work, you just need to turn it off. Yeah, uh, and that, is it good to use it for the reading? Yes, of course. And uh, I, as I just uh, uh, presented here in my presentation, you can ask them to uh, do some uh, maybe jigsaw reading on Padlet, or you can ask them to read something and then uh, again uh, 
based on that reading, you can use different strategies uh, uh, to, uh, okay, to not just to retell the book, but just do something that uh, make the students use their critical thinking and so not just retelling, but uh, you know, as I said, maybe some hidden meanings, or you can take a quote uh, or one, uh, just uh, you know, just ask them to express some kind of feelings or imagine themselves instead of that uh, heroes and uh, you know, create some kind of discussions. Yeah, great, thank you. So uh, another question. Uh, Mehdi is asking, we're only reading the text and get the meaning of the text. How can we use the Padlet for such kind of lesson? Okay, so you can repeat it as I did it. Yeah, uh, so Mehdi, Mehdi is asking, we have only reading the text and get the meaning of the text. How can we use the Padlet for such kind of lesson? Okay, I think uh, you can uh, just share the link. Uh, you can uh, share the link with your students and they can easily access uh, uh, this kind uh, to do the reading in their phones, they can do that. They can uh, own computer. It's um, actually easy. You can uh, copy the li the link, send it to your students, and they will access all the things that you will ask them to do. Yeah, I use it uh, with mm -hmm. my uh, with my students. And before I use Padlet in class, I ask them beforehand to uh, have internet on their phones. And, uh, we, and when they came, I told them beforehand, uh, and when they came to the lesson next, uh, the next lesson they came, uh, I used it successfully, but of course there will be some other students uh, who wouldn't have, but uh, there are some very uh, generous students in the groups who are uh, ready to share their internet with others. You can also use this kind of opportunity. Sometimes I give my uh, phone also, or I have my laptop and phone, I give it to, uh, those students who don't have internet, and I think uh, that works, yeah. Or they can yeah, do it at, at home. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. So next question, what are the positive and negative sides uh, for students using Padlet? I think uh, the positives, uh, everything of course has positives and negatives, and here students uh, mostly the positives, they will develop critical thinking, they will learn uh, new uh, platforms, uh, they will be able to uh, just collaborate with other students, uh, with the, uh, just use their imaginations uh, uh, to be more creative because they will see that their work is going to be on Padlet and uh, most of the students, uh, all the students have access in their group to that board and uh, the person is going to do his best just to be more creative and not to make uh, just mistakes or something like this. And as for negative, uh, maybe they will, I think the negatives, uh, uh, when I presented it to my students, they really liked it, but the only problem they had sometimes uh, an internet connection in the region where they live, that because of the poor internet connection, they were not able uh, to access and sometimes they say, oh, we, we have only the picture, but we can't see the post. And then I have to explain that uh, you have, you should have uh, just a, a bit uh, better connection in order to uh, open the Padlet board. I just also offer them to come to, in my team, I just ask them to come to SPC. Uh, we have in the library uh, computers which they can access. And uh, I think uh, this is what I found uh, a negative, but of course you may think about more. This is what I actually know while using it with my students. Yeah, great, thank you. So uh, we have a question from Natya. She's asking, is it suitable for primary, primary level kids? How can we use Padlet with second, third grade? I think uh, from, uh, for uh, do you mean for uh, for school uh, for for small children? Yes, like uh, second grade, third grade. Um, I actually so, mm -hmm. uh, didn't think about it, but uh, of course, in order to use it with primary school, you have to prepare the students uh, uh, to okay, to how to uh, they uh, go to Padlet and how to do posts. Um, if you, maybe if the rest uh, kids are very 
uh, very aware uh, they are actually aware of uh, a lot of things but as for our country i believe it needs time and uh, uh, preparation or you maybe you just need to open the link and uh, on your computers and just ask students uh, put them on the computers in pairs or in groups uh, three people on one computer and they will do a test and practice it in class with your students and maybe assign something to do at home but i think this needs a, a lot of practice with primary uh, level uh, school children yeah yeah thank you very much yeah uh i agree with you because like you know it takes some skills before like uh using padlet to learn how to use those functions on padlet yeah yeah okay so uh how about games uh because like, you know, in, in many cases, like uh, children learn better through the games and can be Padlet platform used for making any kind of games? Uh, okay, Learning for, games, I mean, yeah. Okay, for games, I actually uh, did not uh, practice it with games, but I will also think about it, how to use. I have been using the uh, technology in my classes. I use uh, Kahoot uh, to do some kind of uh, activities, games. I use the Mentimeter uh, mm -hmm. to present it in the classroom and uh, do some kind of games. But uh, with Padlet, I actually did not test it yet, but I will think about it. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. So, uh, dear participants, uh, please uh, write your questions in the chat box. Okay. So yeah, thank you very much, Mauluda. It was very interesting, and um, I mean, just you know, um, it's a good opportunity for people to learn about how to use online technology in the class. So we have next question: How do you assess your students' work? Uh, as I said, uh, for every student, it will be uh, easy. It, it will be a really great uh, idea to uh, create a separate uh, Padlet with students uh, because. Uh, uh, students uh, sometimes sometimes they don't want uh, other people to see what uh, when you give them comments and I think in this case we have to create a separate board for that uh, uh, students and then we can um, okay when he posts his writing on his Padlet then you can uh, just give him comments and uh, uh, check it okay go through his uh, writing and if he can give uh, comments about what things he needs to improve or and what things uh, went well, we can just uh, be right on this Padlet board individually. Uh, I usually do it like this. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we have another question. Uh, do you share the criteria with the students before, the assessment criteria? Yes, of course, if it's a uh, writing, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, for uh, every writing that we will do in class, uh, there will be a sample. Uh, one we usually do in class uh, together, and I just divide them into groups. They will do it on flip charts, and uh, there will be criteria, how many paragraphs there should be, and uh, what should each paragraph include. and uh, uh, for the topic sentence, for the body conclusion, I will tell them uh, how many points they will get and uh, they are aware of it, yeah. And then uh, after when we do one practice in class, we, we will look at one example first, then we will do one practice in class and uh, I will change the topic, uh, but if, for example, if it's uh, writing a letter to a friend, uh, uh, I will, uh, for example, tell them what to do and what uh, they should include in each paragraph, how to start the letter, how to finish it, what, uh, uh, for example, um, uh, vocabulary they have to use that we have learned. Uh, this will be a criteria that they have to follow. If they don't, of course, they will lose the marks. Yeah, excellent. So thank you. Uh, how about video recording? So do you do uh, video recordings on Padlet. So we have seen a couple of videos, but uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah, and also just, you know, for assessment criteria. 
Yeah, for the assignment, assessment criteria, yes, uh, with the project, we also have uh, uh, criteria about, uh, for example, when we talk about pollution, uh, it should be, uh, okay, I will tell them it shouldn't be very, for example, it shouldn't be very long, two, two minutes or something, and that uh, all things should be, uh, for example, they can, uh, all things should be uh, included. Mostly, if it's a project, I will, uh, Tell them to be more creative, and for the creativity and things like this, they will get uh, extra points. And uh, of course, uh, sometimes I prepare for them some, uh, uh, for example, gifts, small gifts, uh, uh, in order to uh, motivate them to do their best next time. Uh, but mostly, it's for the creativity uh, that I will tell them that they will get uh, more marks. Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, so, dear participants, please, uh, just a couple of minutes left, please use this time to ask your questions. I think uh, as a technology just being more used in the classroom, uh, I mean, even uh, all the technologies that we are using, they are also updated, you know, from time to time. So better versions come up and you know with more functionality uh and i think uh something similar is going to happen with padlet because like you know uh, everything like given the situation with the pandemic like you know more people right now consider online education as a you know most suitable option and i think like you know uh we need we are also just coming to that uh and um uh, therefore, like, yeah, and therefore for English teachers particularly, uh, they uh, should be aware of how to use uh, all this uh, technology available because sometimes the students far uh, ahead of the teachers in, in using some technology, yes, and therefore like um, to, to keep up, yeah, and, and then to be like uh, in one line with the technology progress, teachers also should learn and be able to use this technology like to motivate students to use it for their benefit and also just for enhancing their knowledge. Yeah, thank you very much, Mavluda. Uh, your presentation was a very uh, interesting and informative like, um, and, and we are looking forward uh, that um, more teachers will be using Padlet and discover more functionality and more options how to make classroom uh, activities more engaging by using uh, online platforms like uh, Kahoot, uh, Padlet, and Mentimeter, as you mentioned, just to make it like more uh, engaging for the students. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah.